everyone, I'm back this week and I'm thrilled to announce that we are finally to that last portion of our print PR PVC uh, content series. So today we're kicking things off with how to successfully manage a PVC campaign because if you're going to be managing a PVC campaign, you obviously want to be doing it successfully. Uh, and there's a number of tips that we have uh, to help you as you get into PPC, whether it's on a platform like Facebook and you're having ads in the network, or if you are running PPC ads on um, Google and focusing more on search keywords. Um, on our blog, this coming week and this last week we've started talking a lot about PPC so if you're looking for more information on this subject in general definitely head to chiromox.com I'll leave a link here so that you can get to it easily um, and then also we have gone into some pretty deep um, detail pretty deep detail on Google Ads versus Facebook ads that's coming up next week. So stay tuned for that. It's a really good blog post and I think you'll enjoy it and it will hopefully coordinate and kind of tie things all together for you. Um, but that's enough introduction. Let's jump into it. First of all, my first tip is no matter what dashboard you're on, whether it's Google or Facebook or if you're using Bing, um, learn the dashboard. Get familiar with it so that you um, feel comfortable and don't don't have that feeling that you don't ever want to log in because you just don't really want to touch it. Um, force yourself to log in, click around, do a tutorial. Usually um, they're pretty user friendly, especially Facebook. I think Facebook has a little bit less of a learning curve um, for chiropractors like yourself to get in and start doing ads right away. Um, but even on Google, the more that you get in there and play around, um, the more comfortable you'll feel and the more likely um, you'll be to follow some of these other tips that I have down below. Um, step two is to do your research. You'll probably be doing step one and two simultaneously. Um, but before you even start running ads, you need to research the ads that you're going to be running. On Google, it's vital that you research the keywords um, that you want to be um, doing the ads for. So let's talk about that a little bit more. Um, on Google, you're going to be making ads to coordinate with specific keywords and you're spending money on them. So you don't want keywords that don't make sense for your audience or that don't lead to an ROI or that are too expensive, all of those things. So you need to do some research into it before you start or you're going to be wasting money and your campaign will not be successful. Um, but then also when it comes to a platform like Facebook, do some research into um, the type of images that work best for your audience. Or do they prefer to go directly to your uh, home page or should you lead them to your contact page or should you set up a separate landing page? Um, do research like this and also even when you've started running your ads, do more research. This is a good opportunity to start doing A-B testing where you change one little piece of two ads and you can see which version performed better. Um, and over time, as you compile more research like that, oh, this image consistently performs better than this image, then you know this is the type of image that I should be using um, in the future. Do your research. That's really important. Uh, and then three, this one's an easy one, I think, but remember it. Start small. Don't be afraid to start with a very small budget, um, especially as you're doing this research and doing some A-B testing to see what is the most impactful for your audience? What is going to drive the most ROI? So when you start small, you can set a budget that um, Google or Facebook will not pass, even if it could pass. Um, so if you do that, you could potentially be missing out on um, more customers, more clients, more patients coming to your door, coming to your website at the very minimum. Um, and so that's why you want to assess often. Um, so, I said that you should start learning the dashboard because now, here in step four, I want you to be going to that dashboard fre frequently so that you are able to um, change up your campaign at a moment's notice um, because you've noticed 
this keyword isn't performing well, or this ad on Facebook isn't getting any clicks, or this ad is so successful and we started small and now I need to expand my budget because it's bringing clients to my website and they're making appointments. So um, there's a number of things that I want you to assess often. I have the list over here. One, the keywords. So yeah, if you did your research, especially on Google, if you did your Google research ahead of time, um, but you need to keep doing that research because keywords and their effectiveness changes over time. So keep looking at that. I especially want you to look at costly keywords. Uh, these two are really concerning Google. So if you're focusing more on Facebook, um, stay tuned for the next couple. But um, these costly keywords, are they effective? Are they bringing new clients to your office? Um, if not, then cut them off. So <laughs> this is one way that on Google your budget can um, be depleted very quickly because if you're not going in and assessing very frequently then these costly keywords add up and they're not leading to an actual ROI and then your budget's gone and Google AdWords did nothing for you. Um, so it's really important that you uh, come back to the platform and are watching what's going on. But then back to both to kinds of PPC whether it's on Facebook or Google. Um, landing pages. So I kind of touched on this when I was talking about doing your research, but always go back and see what is the landing page that I am directing um, my site visitors to. Could it be more effective? Uh, would it be more powerful with this image? What about this copy? Uh, is it confusing? Do they know exactly the steps that I want them to follow after getting to this landing page? Um, so this is a good chance to have other people who pop into your office, have your family, have your friends look at it and see if they have suggestions for how you can improve your landing page. Along with that is ad copy. Follow the exact same process. So keep going back and seeing the effectiveness of the actual copy in your ads. Uh, also assess your budget. That's for a number of reasons because if your budget is so small that it's actually being cut off and you have potential clients that aren't making it to your site because you don't have a budget, maybe it's time to expand the budget. I mean, if it's bringing new patients into your door, then why cut it off? Um, and then on the reverse side, if, if it's really not doing anything for you, you have too many of these costly keywords or they're just not getting clicked, maybe it's time to reduce your budget and focus on a different aspect of your marketing for the next quarter and then come back to it in quarter four, for example. Um, so always be watching this and also because you have a budget for your company and you need to make sure you don't go over it um, and the best way to do that is by continually assessing what it is. And lastly, um, to sum up, poor performing ads on Facebook, on Google, um, if they're not performing well, it's, it's time to first revise them and then come back and watch it again and if that didn't work, it might be time to pick a new ad. So. You're doing all these assessments throughout the month. Um, I, seriously, go in every single week and check your um, PPC campaigns to make sure that they are successful. Um, because if you don't start making a habit of it at least weekly, then it'll be a month and you realize you haven't logged in, you haven't checked to see how things are going on, and that's um, when PPC campaigns can go off the rails and become disastrous. Um, but lastly, um, I also want you to start reporting on your success or lack of success depending on how the campaign went. Um, but when you just do these assessments throughout the week, throughout the month, and you make little tweaks, it's hard to look back on that and see what worked over time. So it doesn't have to take a really long time, but create a report every month or so, the frequency really can be up to you, but we like monthly, um, to be able to have this running record of what is working over time. How has your audience changed over time? Um, what type of edits to the ads really worked, really paid off? And then once you have this running record for the last quarter and then six months and then a year and then multiple years, you can see how your PPC campaigns have changed for the better over time. Um, 
Okay, I said lastly for this one, but I actually have one last point, and that's to work with experts. So, it's, PPC is complicated. There's a lot to it, and it takes a lot of time. As I've talked about, you need to be logging in frequently, you need to be holding yourself accountable, you need to be reporting, you need to be doing your research, and a lot of time that, that gets to be too much for chiropractors. So I recommend if it's getting to be too much, but you still want to capitalize on PPC to work with an expert. It doesn't need to be us and it doesn't need to be for the entirety of the campaign. Maybe you do Facebook under your own roof, but you have Google ads running through an outside expert. Um, I urge you to consider it because that can be very successful um, over time in the long run. Uh, if, in case you do want to work with us here at Chiromox, um, I'll leave our contact information on the screen, but it's super easy, chiromox.com. Um, I'm Nicole. I will see you next week for another video on PPC. Bye!